Lexington area residents are no strangers to Confederate memorials. For some, the protection or removal of Confederate statues and monuments is a major deciding factor in the upcoming gubernatorial election, as it is for Connie Dorsey, a Republican and member of the United Daughters of the Confederacy. I don't know that it's a major issue for everybody, but it's a major issue for people like me. I would never vote for somebody who was willing to take down those statues. While the city of Lexington officially owns no Confederate monuments, residents are still close to the issue. Soon after, thousands of people descended on neighboring Charlottesville in August to protest the removal of a Robert E. Lee statue, the vestry of a Lexington church voted to take the general's name out of the church's title. Ann Hansen, who says she will vote Democrat, was a member of the committee that recommended changing the name. I think that monuments um, can be important civic structures, certainly when they're controversial, such as having to do with the Civil War. Uh, probably a better place for them is in a museum. Around the same time, VMI issued a statement that the college was committed to, quote, continuing to acknowledge all those who are part of the history of the Institute. Here's Keith Gibson, executive director of VMI's museum system. Uh, I think it is the responsibility of every community to uh, reflect on uh, its personal heritage, its local heritage, uh, its origins. A September poll by Mason Dixon Polling and Strategy shows 62% of Virginians oppose removing Confederate monuments. 54% believe more context should be added to existing monuments. The future of publicly owned Confederate memorials could rest in the hands of Ed Gillespie or Ralph Northam, the Republican and Democratic candidates for governor. Uh, the statues should remain and we should place them in historical context so that people can learn. We don't have to glorify the objects of the statues, we can educate about them. Personally, I would think that the statues would be better placed in museums with certainly historical context, but I am leaving that up to the localities. For the Rockbridge Report, I'm Faith Pinu.